everyone. Welcome to the daily reading. Uh, so just really quick, um, these pendants are available on my website. Um, they're beautiful pendants and like the silver, like it's all handcrafted, the silver is handcrafted and then when you purchase it, it gets infused with Reiki energy by me. I'm, with, I'm a Reiki master. So I infuse it with Reiki energy before it is sent out to you. Um, and there's only like, there's only 10 left. So if you want to get a pendant there, we have, I have small ones and I have bigger ones. Like this is a bigger sized one. So if you like that size that we have these sizes and then we have a few small ones. Also, if you want a fearless intuition, <coughs> Mercury retrograde, official Mercury retrograde t-shirt, um, may your Mercury be more Freddy and less retrograde. Mercury retrograde is just around the corner. Like we're going to go into shadow period in a couple of weeks and then we'll have um, a month, basically three weeks of the retrograde and then shadow period for two weeks. So um, once Mercury gets into Leo, that's when things are going to start getting interesting. We're not going to talk about planets a lot. Um, I just want everybody to, we're not going to talk about the cosmos because it's really the same things that are happening. Like the energy is the same as what I talked about yesterday. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more in depth about what's coming this weekend as we get closer to the weekend. Um, Father's Day on Sunday is going to be really interesting with a Jupiter Neptune square. And then we have the full moon on Monday. Um, so the full moon in Sagittarius will be conjunct Jupiter while Jupiter is square Neptune. That's going to be a really interesting ride to see. So the end of June, as we come into the end of June, it's it's um, kind of a bumpy ride. But like I said yesterday, this is all for growth. Like it's all for us to grow and to evolve. And right now, some of the things in the energy that I'm noticing, and I woke up this morning and I was kind of, whenever I wake up and I'm like really tingly with energy, I kind of feel like there's this electric charge in the air. And... Um, I woke up this morning and thought, you know, it's really interesting how everybody's egos are like super, super involved right now. And so I feel like we're all having to go through this ego death type thing. And I'm even guilty, like a couple, like last weekend and a couple of, you know, yeah, like last weekend, um, I could have literally just shut, like been shut down in a room and stayed there. And I probably would have caused less chaotic <laughs> energy around me if I would have just like stayed put. Um, it wasn't a bad thing, but I could tell that my ego was really, really, really in charge. And that, and you know, we have to have our ego sometimes in life. Like it's a human thing. It's human nature for your ego to show up every once in a while, right? Here's the thing though, is just kind of one of the things that I really want everybody to remember is stay in your own lane. Um, you know, I, being in the public eye, I have a lot of people email me. I have a lot, of, like there was, um, I've, I've had several messages in the last week from like people that I did readings for years ago and now they're trying to get their, their, like coming back and saying how unsatisfied they were like two or three years ago and they want a refund from their reading. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's so strange right now. Like, ev like the energy right now is so strange. So I really want to tell everybody, stay in your lane. Um, remember what your purpose is. And this is why I talked about really grounding yourself into your purpose, really grounding yourself into your rules and lessons, morals and values, allowing yourself to um, not get wrapped up in what everybody else thinks about you or what everybody else wants from you because this energy is going to pass. And as this energy passes, um, it'll be super, super easy for you to kind of come back to this and be like, oh, wow, like I get it now. I understand what Betsy was saying when she said stay grounded in your purpose. I understand what Betsy was saying when she said stay in your own lane um, because you'll you'll either be able to applaud yourself and say look what I did like I was able to get through this energy and like I wasn't a catastrophe and everything is fine 
Um, when and somebody actually asked me, when does this energy shift end? First of all, it's an evolution pro evolutionary process. So this will end, and then we'll have kind of a quiet time, and then things will start ramping up again. Um, so it's never really ending. Like you can't. There's never like we go through cycles, right? It's like the world. It's like the wheel of, wheel of fortune. We go through cycles in life, and we have to go through that cycle to let the cycle end, learn our lessons from it. And then just keep going and keep going and keep going. There's never, like a, like I said, there's never a destination. There's never an end point. Um, there's never one specific way of going and doing things. In saying that, um, also sign up for my email list if you guys want to stay updated on, um, I'll be doing an energy blog post for the Jupiter-Neptune square and Sagittarius full moon. Um, I'm saying that out loud, so I actually, like, have a goal and stick to it and make sure that I get that out this weekend. Um, also, um, with, if you're, if you sign up for my email, you'll get updates on when I'm doing events. So, my first event is in Kansas City on June 28th. Um, it's a Friday evening. I have that link directly in the description box below. The events page should be up today on my website but um in the meantime the kansas city link is below since it's in like two weeks um and then i'll be in st louis the first weekend of july so it's after the fourth of july it'll be the first weekend after the fourth of july i'll be in st louis on that saturday um and then we have an la date as well so um that's in august but the reason why i'm saying that is i want if you want to get a reading from me before july hits I suggest going to do that now. I have a few spots for next week even. Um, so I have a couple of spots for next week left, and um, then we'll be scheduling two weeks out from there. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, there are also, like, tons of sales on my readings on my website right now. I'm not even going to mention them. If you're interested, fearlessintuition.net, go check it out. <sighs> all right, kiddos. I wanted to do that really fast. Whoa, I'm not taking all of those. That's a lot. I wanted to uh, get all the updates out and, and stuff really, really fast before I started shuffling the cards because I know some people don't necessarily like it when I promote myself and my business. <laughs> That's another thing. Like, I've had comments where it's like, I mean, this is kind of a free reading, you guys. So if I have to advertise my business during a free reading... That's what's going to happen. <laughs> I love you all. I love you all. That This is what I mean by stay in your own lane. Like, could we not, like, try and tell people how to do their thing or, or tell people, you know, suggestions are one thing, but um, backhanded compliments are not suggestions. So, yeah. And I wouldn't even mention that if it was just one person. Honestly, I wouldn't even mention that if it was just one person. Let's see what the daily energy is for June 12th. I cannot believe it's June 12th already. June 12th energy. Yeah, there are some serious ego battles happening. You know, and it's funny because even when it's not your stuff, or even if it's not somebody else's stuff, they're like getting involved. And that's what I, this is exactly, this is perfect. The first card out, the Knight of Swords. I'm not even mad. Like, it doesn't even make me mad at people when they make comments on videos and stuff like that and make suggestions. It doesn't, like, it rolls right off my back now, but I sit here and I think, really? Like, is it, is it, ne is it necessary? <laughs> like, do we have to really be that kind of person? Are you really going to be that person? And I'm not going to ever, like, I won't ever call any one person out. I would never do that. Um, even though I get called, you stay in your own lane, the chariot, even with the chaos, even with the egos, even with everything that's going on around you, as long as you stay in your own lane and you keep heading you and your sights are on your purpose and you allow yourself to really grow from that purpose Things are going to come up rosy. Things are going to be really super amazing. So, um, you know, allow yourself, excuse me, to stay balanced. We have justice. And that Queen of Pentacles keeps on coming out. 
we've had the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles come out the last couple of days. So I feel like this is a very nurturing time, you know, and allowing yourself to stay super, super grounded. And, and the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who does have very healthy boundaries, right? Seven of Wands. She stays in her own lane. She does what she's supposed to do. The Three of Pentacles is mastering yourself, really, um, and growing. I have my, um, I put lavender oil in my hair and behind my ears. And so you can, I have it on my hands. I love the smell of lavender. Um, it's so soothing. So the three of pentacles and the justice card, for me, this is all about allowing yourself to stay in that karmic balance, allowing yourself to grow and master what you need to grow and master in your world, um, the chariot is heading you in the direction that you're supposed to be in. So if you're really, really worried and super, super confused about where you're supposed to be right now, getting quiet and allowing yourself to get quiet is huge. And I actually, like every morning, when I wake up every morning, I give myself five, 10 minutes and I do my meditation. I don't spend an hour on meditation in the morning. And the reason why I don't spend an hour on meditation in the morning is because my meditation is all about hyping myself up and giving myself that positive energy. I do my longer meditations more in the afternoon or evening time or right before I'm falling asleep. So um, give yourself the opportunity to get quiet and to... Um, allow yourself to become present because when you're quiet and present, then you can start answering your own questions, right? Instead of needing to have the peanut gallery, because I feel like that's what this is. I feel like the Knight of Swords, I don't even know if they mean well. Like it doesn't even feel like they mean well because sometimes the peanut gallery, sometimes people really want to um, give you advice or be there for you. Uh, give you advice or be there for you for the betterment of you. Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> There's something that popped up in my head and I got distracted. Um, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's for the betterment of them. It's to make them feel better. When they give you advice, it's to make them feel better, not make you feel better. It's not to promote you. It's to promote their. It's like not promoting your agenda. It's promoting their agenda. And here's the thing, is I'm not 100%, like I don't 100% want people to think that promoting your own agenda is a bad thing. I mean, I just sat here and said, you know, this is a free reading that you're getting, so if I'm going to advertise my business and advertise the things that I do during a free reading, that's what you're going to, if you don't want to listen to it, then fast forward, but usually I just like throw it in whenever I feel like I need to throw it in. But the thing is, is if, if um, somebody gives me advice advice to not do something like that, that is promoting their agenda and they're not even thinking about, well, why does Betsy do that? Well, because it's my business, because this is what I do. This is my living, right? So you, and that's just an example. That's how I want you to perceive what everybody's doing when they're projecting and they're promoting themselves and they're putting their own agenda onto you, because that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to say, there's a pendant that can help boost your energy and raise your vibrations here. You, like everything that I'm doing is trying to like, yes, it's my business, but I'm, it's also to help others. It's like, that's my whole purpose, right? Your life purpose. I'm not doing it to annoy everybody. You see what I'm kind of like, I don't know if I'm saying it right. I'm just trying to give an ex example too. <laughs> Here's the other thing is, you know, it's so interesting that everybody is on, is walking on eggshells right now because they're afraid of the Knight of Swords, right? Like, I'm kind of, like, tiptoeing around some subjects here. Like, I'm trying to give you examples, but again, I don't want to be like, oh, no, but I'm not really, you know, like, promoting blah, 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 blah. Say what you mean, mean what you say, Right? Mars and Cancer, this whole Mars and Cancer, and it's conjunct the North Node still. Um, it's a very passive-aggressive energy because you really want to push yourself forward while everything is in Cancer. 
But at the same time, see, North Node in Cancer, Mars in Cancer, Mercury in Cancer, there's the Cancer card. You want to be able to push everything forward, but at the same time, you don't want to step on other people's toes. As long as you don't mean ill will, do what you got to do, right? Because you're not going to be able to please everybody. You're not going to be able to please everybody. And if you think that you're going to start, you, if you think that you have to please everybody, you're not going to get anywhere in life. You know, it's like, I don't do this to piss people off, but at the same time, I'm not going to stop doing it. And if you get pissed off, that's really not my, you see, you see, kind of see where I'm coming from there. Let's see what this Knight of Swords even wants. <laughs> like, oh, wants to take your shit. <laughs> the five, I said, what does this, this Knight of Swords want? It's the Five of Swords. So I really seriously feel like there are just people out there that want to fight just for the pure enjoyment of fighting. Like, I don't even think that there are people out there, um, you know, people just want to fight right now. Stay in your lane. Stay in your own lane. Um, and where you're headed is happening very, very fast. This is Mars and the North Node, big time, being conjunct. The Eight of Wands on the Chariot. Now, some of you might actually have to move. Some of you might be traveling. It is the summertime here. Kids are finally out of school. This could also be really quick communication that's coming in, like over the internet or text messaging or something like that. Whatever it is, it's he you're heading towards, you're, you're on the right path for your soul purpose. That chariot is telling you that you're on the path for your soul purpose. So keep going that direction. Keep heading that direction. You're on the right path. You're doing the right thing. There's the Queen of Cups again. The Queen of Cups on the Three of Pentacles. I feel like this is a rebuilding. I feel like there's you're, you're rebuilding something. Now, I know this is the Queen of Cups. This could also represent a man as well. This is a general reading. Just remember that. But I feel like whatever it is that you are building upon, you're emotionally invested in. But intuitively, you already know that this is something that you want to do and you're moving in that direction. You're moving that way. So I want to say keep going. Keep heading in that direction. Keep going that way. So then we have justice. Let's see what justice is there. Justice is all about balance. It's about karmic retribution. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that's coming up from the past. This might be where that ego is setting in, that egoic mindset is happening. Because when things happen from the past, it's like, that's where, I mean, like we're so programmed to react in a certain way because of the way things have happened in the past. So allowing yourself to really stay balanced in the present, in the now, that Six of Cups, um, you could also have somebody that's very karmic in your life that's showing up from your past, but I feel like a lot of this has to do with past lessons, especially since we're in the energy of this chariot and eight of wands and you wanting to catapult forward into the future. A lot of times when we're really, really excited about moving forward in the future, people, situations, or things from the past will show up out of the blue and kind of it's like a test. It's like they're going to be testing you in some way, shape, or form. And you have to remain grounded and have your boundaries up. I feel very, and, and here's the other thing, is if you want to reach out to your past, and you're sitting there and you're like, I don't know if I should reach out to my past or not. I'm not entirely sure if I should. Um, that, if you, if your soul, and this is the way I make most of my decisions in life, if your soul is not 100% down with whatever decision you're making, if you have to sit there and question your motives or question yourself over and over and over again, not the right time to do it. The big fat answer is no. Should I contact this person? I don't know if I should contact this person. If I contact this person, is, is it going to um, make me overly emotional? Am I going to be able to handle it? Yada, yada, yada. 
if the if you are doing that consider the answer no don't contact the person or don't do this or don't go that direction or don't take that job or whatever if you're fighting with yourself that means you're not 100 percent. it's not sitting well with you it's not sitting in your gut properly and so the answer is no come back to it at a later date right it's not going anywhere it's not going anywhere let's see what this queen of pentacles wants for you i feel like she is the grounding energy that you really need to embody right now because she represents patience and she represents um the ability to so we have temperance on the queen of pentacles this staying really really super grounded staying in your lane knowing the direction that you are going in and not worrying about what other directions people want you to go in or what other situations or whatever it is balancing out your heart and your mind the queen of pentacles is really good at doing that so keep yourself grounded right now and another way to keep yourself grounded is by having healthy boundaries that means you are allowed to say no if it doesn't feel right you are allowed to say no and bottom of the deck is the nine of pentacles the hierophant on the seven of wands if you have to have boundaries up when it comes to societal standards right now know that it's okay to do that i mean obviously we have to live in the 3d obviously we have to pay our bills we have to pay our taxes we have to do what we are you know this is this was the life this was the generation this was the life that you were born into there are rules values things that we have to do in order to mesh with society's plan right here's the thing though you don't have to subscribe to the belief system of it and right now there are there's so much that's going on when it comes to the government there's so much that's going on when it comes to people wanting you to be swayed into believing what they believe and they will debate you and they will push their agenda on you again talking about pushing their agenda onto you to benefit them in some way, shape, or form. Because they're not thinking about the flip side. They're not thinking about the other person that's on the other side of that agenda. They're thinking about their own benefits from it, right? And vice versa. If you are thinking about your own benefits from a certain situation or a certain thing that you're doing, I guarantee you, if you stay in your lane and you don't push your agenda onto other people, the universe is going to support you in that. As long as you're not trying to hurt someone. <laughs> I mean, within reason, right? Like, let's make sure this agenda that we have is not about hurting other people. But it, it's all about allowing yourself to move in a direction where you feel really good and really, really independent. And if that means that you have to put up your boundaries, leave some people behind, tell some people no, you can't be afraid to do that because um, you, you don't want people to not like you. Because <laughs> you're not gonna be able to please everyone, right? So um, don't let the peanut gallery get in your way um stay grounded please stay patient i feel like everybody is like crashing into each other right now like everybody wants to be in the same place at the same time so take your time when you're going anywhere take your time when you're doing the things in your life um and make sure that you are spreading the love like that's the biggest thing right now is spreading the love not spreading the hate, not spreading the agendas, not pushing your ideas onto other people because you think that it's correct, okay? I love you guys. Please take good care of yourselves. Um, really interesting reading today. Really interesting. <laughs> I did not see this coming at all. So, all right, guys. I love you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.